Welcome to Friday Night's video in our second Master Series. I do believe this is the 14th video on our Spectrum on our Master Series and the fourth video, I believe, looking at the Spectrum Meters. So basically, you know, I really hope you enjoyed the last video because you will find that that, that is a huge thing that if you start incorporating that into your workflow, that you will be amazed at the improvement of the work that you do especially with the understanding after going through all those other videos and getting that done and working into your system that it is going to be something that will take your stuff to literally the next level by you really being able to microanalyze every moment in the time of what's happening. So basically, we're going to get into the next thing. This is a very simple concept that basically we talked about in the first master series, but how important this concept is the first this concept is gain staging now when you're gain staging people will talk about gain staging and they'll start to, do i use db full do i do i do peak do i do rms do i do l lufs what i mean what what do I, how do i do that well this can help take care of a lot of those problems by doing your gain staging with your spectrometers because instead of looking at your level meters per se that sound is a lot more complicated than that you don't just have a true peak you don't just have a root mean square or lufs or anything like that you've got this entire spectrum that has to be mixed in to the mix properly so besides all the things that we talked about in the last video that this is great for gain staging because basically as you go through this you've got as you gain stage not only do you get the information you would from your level meters you get information from the entire spectrum of whatever you're dealing with and those combined waveforms so you might have issues it's not just a matter of you gain staging with just your level meters your spectrometer can help point out issues you're having to where this level you've gained stage it there fine but it's having a problem this is too loud over here in comparison to this and you're losing harmonic content from this other waveform in this other track and so you're going to want to attenuate there or boost there or do something you know like we talked about in the last video to take there that issue whereas your just level meters aren't going to give you that information I mean, the spectrometer will so they're hugely invaluable whenever you're gain staging and i guarantee you if you use them in your gain staging phase while you're mixing either subgroups or the groups themselves that your mixes will improve immensely and if you do every section at a time at every moment in time look at it like we talked about every moment in time is important in movements transitions and breaks that your stuff will go to the next level and become phenomenal as long as you've done everything else well does that make sense because as you go through there you're going through you find the fundamentals right you're looking for fundamentals and you're trying to match up fundamentals well once you've matched up fundamentals and you've gain staged them to where not only they sound good but they look good because sometimes things lie your ears might hear something not quite right and when actually it should be a little bit quieter because you're not quite hearing it right having to do with the equal loudness contour and things like that where this fundamental might actually look louder than this but it sounds right and between your eyes and your ears you can really zero in when there's problems to as you got mix start out with a fundamental track and then start stacking it things underneath it as you go through and we talked about that in mixing concepts in the last master series but it's hugely important because as you start to gain stage this in like i've got this track here and i start trying to gain stage this track in that as i'm gain staging this track in that i'm going to be able to see the whole envelope of sound as opposed to just levels from a level meter and also i can see all the levels of all the content as i mix it in and once i get done with that i can switch to having those two tracks go directly to like my my eq here or my spectrum meter because you can look at this with a spectrum meter also you can check this out with the spectrum meter and see it there also and look at your levels and as you get done then you can combine those two tracks you mix together well 
seeing them over here, this is what their levels look like. So you can keep an eye on their levels with the spe second spectrometer as you're gain staging them in to look for issues that you might have in certain areas or your levels themselves as you're gain staging in. Then you just run the two directly to the analysis track and the other one the next one you're going to gain stage in side chain it in to do the same thing bring that one up into the two you've just done and then you can look for issues on that it's a huge thing to really help out your mixes because a lot of people i get people and they talk to me about well what level meters do i do you know and they get frustrated and they're like well i'm not really seeing that at all and they start you know putting this fluffing their level meters off to the side and going i just trust my ears bro just my ears will tell me exactly well no they won't you know you'll get this stuff going on and your ears will hear these levels but you don't you it's very difficult i mean as you become a really good master engineer that there's no doubt that you will hear things this over in here is riding louder than this little peak over here at that one moment right there does that make sense but until you get there that you know and even when you do get there it's certainly good to be able to visualize it that way as you start bringing stuff up underneath other stuff then it might not just be a level thing that you're gain staging and stacking that also there's a bunch of other co content in there that's going to not just be dealing with the peak level that's the highest level of what you're dealing with or the root mean square or anything like that that you've got this whole envelope of sound coming from these two or these three or by this time you might have eight tracks that are this blue and you're trying to mix in the ninth track up underneath that that you trying to you know look at it with just level meters can be kind of difficult to where this way that you're gain staging in a whole new way that is basically better and you will eventually as you practice doing this and you implement this then you combine all the things we've talked about so far from the beginning of this second master series and all the things we've talked about so far when dealing with spectrometers that it will become very apparent that as you gain stage you can also find other issues because as you gain stage and mix things together all kinds of other things start happening <clears throat> that you may have to deal with and this is one of the best ways to visualize issues that you might be having like i talked about in the last video and it, can, it will be immensely helpful to you in your mixing when you're going through your mixing stage and or when your subgroups also so that you can really fine tune and target what's going on besides just issues that way as you gain stage that you're really getting to see fluctuations all over the spectrum so that you know it's not just you've got this level and then you just leave the your your volume at that level as you mix things together that you might decide to, you know it can help you target in when you're doing automation when you're doing equalization equalization automation when you're doing automation with your volumes and things like that you know going across the production you know from one moment to the next moment to the next moment and it can be really help you just get your stuff to the next level because i see so many people that they won't take this kind of information into consideration or don't even understand this is a good thing to do because then not only you're hearing it but you're seeing it you might be going along and you see this little peak jump up right here. Bap, right there. Now, well, I don't know, as you become a phenomenal audio engineer and, you know, some kind of, you know, my hearing is perfect, you know, even when it gets there that you might be able to visualize that and hear that little glitch or just a small moment that you might want to attenuate that because it's really all those moments in time add up to coming out to a good production or not you know we had talked about that in the last video that you may have just a chorus section but there might be five or six areas inside that chorus section that as you're mixing together that you need to do some automation with things to make it come out as sound as good as possible and we talked about that in that every moment of time is important because those little things you don't do and you don't catch in the end make that little chorus section go from wow to eh, does that make sense? And it's very true, all the things that we've talked about. So using your spectrum meter for gain staging, in my humble opinion, is the best way to gain stage. Because you can put a level meter up above it or something like that to keep an eye on 
your peaks and to keep an eye on your root mean squares and your LUFS or whatever. But, you know, this is going to be way more valuable to you because you, as you're going through it, the better you get at being an audio engineer. And in this series, we're really trying to get you to that next level as you really pushing forward with that, that this will become invaluable to you because you will understand now that we've gone through this, you really have a good understanding of what you're looking at, why certain things are important, and what that's going to mean, you know, to the timbers that you're trying to turn into a brand new complex waveform that we talked about in the last video, that things get lost, you know, as they meld together. And as you're trying to preserve the identity and blend them at the same time, like we talked about mixing concepts in the last master series, that this is going to be very helpful. And also to help you to understand that static work becomes ridiculous whenever you're trying to become a virtuoso master audio engineer this is a very short area and this amount of time that's one bar look how the volume changes that are happening over in just that small amount of time what all is going on there in that small amount of time now you've got a chorus that's eight measures long that you've got all kinds of things going on in the more the more complicated and the better your productions get, the more stuff's going to be happening in very small amounts of time that you're going to want to be able to visualize and know what that is and be able to take make good decisions by using your ears well and really being able to trust your visualization tools. Because I've learned that I trust my ears, but I know my eyes and my spectrometers ain't lying to me. And when I see a problem, then I go back and listen to it. Well, it sounded okay, but now I'm here. I don't didn't see that problem. So I'll go back and loop it. Yep, I, there is a little bit of a problem there. I'm not really catching it. Now I caught it with my eyes. And also trying to zoom in on it. You know, you got a problem in the spectrum and you're trying to pinpoint and there is some problem at 2K and your ears aren't just beep, 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 dang, 2K. I know exactly 2K. Da -da, for one half a second. Da -da -da. And you know, if you're you're not to the point where you're doing it that good that your spectrometers might be of some use to you because you see this going on at 2k or right here and you're like that peak right there and right when he hits that hold that note duh, it's just that problem pink you know and when it's mixing with this it's going to sound different so by itself you might have mixed them just fine but now when you mix them together that you have to rework each one of those separate tracks so they sound good together because it's not so much important that they sound perfect by themselves that that whatever it comes after that after they're mixed in they are now a whole new sound that has to sound perfect as you can get it does that make sense and so it's going to be immensely helpful to you so this tool the spectrometer using in your gain staging phase whether you're gain staging your subgroups or your mix itself will become eval invaluable to you if you really sit down and think about watching all these videos to this second master series to really understand what you're looking at and to understand how much more information you get so you can make much better decisions and catch things as you go through while you're gain staging so peace out love i certainly hope you enjoyed this next video in our second master series about spectrometers and i'll see you in the next video